Alright, welcome back to RPG Quest, and we are back with game number 95, which is Paladin's Quest on SNES. So yesterday we got to the final boss, as I'm assuming it's the final boss, since he had multiple forms, uh, but we got our asses handed to us. Uh, so I, we're going to need to grind a little bit um, before I, like, grind a few levels before I attempt him again. I'm going to change my party makeup. Uh, Nails, the robot, is absolutely useless in that fight, so... I'm going to be replacing him. I think I'm even going to replace the uh, other guy that's with us. I'm going to try to get, bring two um, like caster guys, because they, they do nothing other than provide extra healing, so I might as well bring some guys that can cast some extra buffs. Um, looking at the spell list, like, I don't know how good these spells are going to be against the boss, but there, there's a whole bunch of like uh, you know buff and debuff spells that would I don't think debuffs are going to work, but at least buff spells that might help out. Stuff like Defense Up, I should be casting that in everybody. The Wall, the Magic Wall, the Attack Back sounds uh, fun. Gives half the damage back to the enemy, so if that works on the boss, then we can do some extra damage that way. Uh, magic Down, I mean, there's a couple of spells that I want to cast, so I want to bring characters that can actually cast that with us. Uh, and the guy that's currently with us, other than Nails, he's not much of a caster, so... Uh, I think Mouth was pretty good, actually. So Mouth and maybe the other guy that was in the uh, in, um, in the other inn. I think Hawk is his, is his or her name. So maybe those two. Uh, grind them up. I'll try to get like 55, see if that helps out. And try buffing like crazy and going from there. So uh, this is going to be a quick stream. Uh, I don't have too much time today there. I've got work tonight. But uh, I'm sure we should be able to finish this up in like one, one and a half hours at the most, probably. So let's get right into it and uh, let's uh, see if we can do this. Continue. Oh, crap. Uh, assuming one was our last save. Damn it. That was a problem when you have multiple saves at the same level. Uh, must have been one. Alright, the timer. <clears throat> okay, so first things first. Nails, you're good, but you're not, not good for this fight, so. And you're not gonna level up, so we go dump you. The other guy, I mean, he's a good level, he's got good health, but he doesn't have any good spells. Like, not, not, not spells that are good for the boss fight. Like, defense down won't work on the boss. Like, 99% sure, unless it's just a low chance of working. Uh, you know, the only one who's going to be able to do damage, really, is going to be uh, Chesney with the spirit, so these would be useless. So, he's not going to be good to keep, so... I think Mouth here... Pretty sure he had some good spells. And he has the, uh... Yeah, he's got a Mega Bottle, too, so... Let's see, at least he can heal us for full as well. Uh... Yeah, he's got a Magic Down, he's got a Magic Wall... Um... Defense Up. Yeah, so he's got some good spells that'll help us out to buff, anyways, in those uh, battles, so... So we're definitely bringing him with us. Level 48, so we definitely need to level him up a bit to get some extra health. And then... I don't remember the stats of the, uh... Of, of, of the... of Hawk. But looking at the manual, Hawk seems to have a lot of, um... Good, uh, abilities, good spirits, so it's probably a good caster. And then we'll grind in this area here. See if we can get, like, 55 or something. You can also go grind on the uh, Gubos, but while they're really easy to kill, uh, they won't give that huge amount of experience, and we won't be leveling up our spirits. It's another thing I want to kind of do, too. Let's level up our spirits, so... Uh, it's going to be fun. Alright, so let's... Uh, let's go pick up Hawk. Uh, oh yeah, that's right, I have those... Um, those work inside? No. Gotta be outside in the map anyway, so... Either way, gotta go outside. I think... Yeah, he's like in the tavern, like right beside this place once we go back outside. So we'll get our dream team. We'll level them up. I'll try to get 55. I mean, 55, like, worst case scenario, gives us an extra 100 health. We get about 25 health per level, so an extra 100 health may be enough to, you know, survive the onslaught. 
last form of the boss is nasty. It's doing like triple attacks. And then there's probably gonna be a lot of RNG involved. My favorite. Yeah, this down here. Pretty sure had uh, Hawk. Yeah, stab him right over here. So this guy that's with us. I had uh, good stats, but crappy magic. This guy. I guess he has a guy. Ma male. Uh, Strength up. I don't know if that will help with the uh, spirits. I doubt it. It's probably only for physical attacks. Um, what's is that? ATS. What does that do? Draw I mean attacks yourself with a spell. I wonder if that even works during the boss fights. If it does, that may be useful to get uh, the heat off of uh, Chesney. Oh, he's got wall and defense up. So there you go. So yeah, definitely a uh, good one to have. Alright, so let's dump Peppy. I think he was level 50 as well, so everybody's around level 50, so. Yeah, so everybody's around level 50, so let's, let's try to get, you know, level 55 on our main characters. And so, so that, that should give us an average of about 100 HP more, what we have right now. And we'll, we'll try grinding on our uh, spirits as well, we'll try to get our, the rest of our spirits up as, as, at the same time. Um, and we'll take, make another attempt and hopefully we can get lucky. Um, so we definitely need to get his Earth Spirit up, his Heart Spirit, the two big ones. Water Spirit... Getting which spells I need to cast to raise those things. It's water and heart is higher, that's useless. Uh, water and heart is peace, that's useless. Earth and air, you can cast that to raise earth and air. Cast that a bunch. Uh, earth and water wall. Spirit might... I mean, I can... I'm assuming... I'm hoping Spirit can, like, raise everything. So if I use that a lot. Let's see. My mouse cursor. <laughs> right there. Yeah. I want to see if Spirit actually... raises all the Spirits. Let's just do, like, an oops, easy enemy out here. There's a test. Because if Spirit... Like, if I raise all the spirits, and that'd be a good way of uh, raising everything at once. Oops. The only annoying part is the casting time. It's forever to, to get it off. Oh, that rat is. Uh, we didn't even kill the rat. We must just do a percentage of their health. I mean, there's no way that shouldn't have killed the rat, so that's gotta be a percentage of their health. <laughs> that's hilarious, though. Alright. Kill a rat with that. Let's see if it did anything in terms... I really doubt one cast of it would do anything, but... <clears throat> uh, I think my Earth moved. But... Only one cast, so yeah. Probably spirit probably doesn't raise anything, so you probably have to. <coughs> so it cast Barry. At least Barry is an AOE, and uh, they'll raise my Earth and Water, which are both Earth is definitely super low, and Water it's not maxed out, so so we use that. <coughs> use, uh...
So we'll do a bunch of fights. Uh, just as soon as we walk up the stairs in this area here. Seems like the monsters there get pretty good experience. Go all out on them, we can just go back down and refill our bottles. So we can just use our bottles uh, as much as we want. So are we leveling up anyways? Thirteen fifty-two, so and the fights we were doing give us about two thousand experience. I'm assuming that's divided by four, so that's so about two fights worth. Two, two and a half. So save. <clears throat> Try this. I'm almost tempted to just go try the boss again, but no. Kick her ass. Guess I know how many forms he's got now, so <laughs> makes it a little easier. And berry. Berry. Cast bolt on, you cast. Sure, you cast. Oh, the spells. Oh, the spells, but nothing that's a break all. <laughs> nothing that attacks everything except for break all. Damn it, they hit the robot. It's hit like no damage. I don't really care about the damage I put as long as I'm raising my uh, spirits. So. Really wish Medea could get the fire elemental, that way she can cast spirits too. But obviously they made it so that only the hero can can do that. A little too OP otherwise. Say, like, when's she gonna cast her healing thing? Jeez. Usually you do that like the first thing in the fight. It's a good thing they did it right there before the robot attacked. Oh, this stuff is, uh. I mean, I'm not exactly using the best spell for Chesney there, but. This stuff is not going down easy. Seriously, come on. Game or game. It's better give me like 10 points of earth skill after this. Do you have anything better than this? Blow up, there we go. Let's try that. Yeah. 
figured the robot would have more health than the uh, zip dudes. Didn't damage anything. Yeah, blow up is like useless. Ball, get your air up a bit. So, one of these. So I'm not sure. I mean, the, the wall spells. There's there's three different things that. Like there's there's wall which calls up powerful shield of the wall spell. There's MG wall, which reduces the strength of enemy spells. There's an MG down, which nullifies enemy spells with MG down. So, but MG wall is cheaper than MG down. All of them use them have, have that wall effect, so it's really weird. Sand crabs. <laughs> yes, those are painful. Very. How's it going for me? Grinding time before we try the final boss for one, one more time. Damn. 340 health. Alright, let's get this guy. <laughs> let's just kill him now. This guy does not want to die. For some weird reason. Level. There we go. 22. <laughs> they just say he was level 22. That would really suck if he was level 22. Imagine that, trying to kill that boss at level 22. Damn, you would not survive. <clears throat> One level down. So the, the uh, experience that you get must already pre be pre-split when it tells you you gain X amount of experience. Because you only need like 1100 and we got like just over that XP and he leveled up, so. 10,000 experience. Ah, uh, funerals. Those always suck. Never fun going to a funeral. The older we get, the more we attend. That's the <laughs> there we go. I forgot to check... Uh, forgot to check to see what kind of uh, status increase we got. Exactly. Hopefully we make it that far, right? <laughs> Every time I see that skull appear on our characters, I'm like, it's like, man, they're gonna kill us. I wonder 
if I can go back to the uh, to the past at all. I doubt it. Cause there's those nice the nice gear in that shop that I didn't pick up because I thought you know, well, I got the Karmu armor. The Karmu stuff is better. That's before we had to give up the Karmu Karmu stuff. It's probably long gone now. So. Anything that's useful to cast here. Crush. Sing team. What does that even do? Cutting it close there, Midia. Isn't that supposed to confuse the enemy or something? If it works. Sucks at direct damage. <laughs> Hawk pretty much just has to use uh, his attacks or his magic. It's fine for the boss fight because considering direct damage is going to be useless against the boss, but. Magic's coming along here. Oh, Zerth definitely went up a few points. Heart definitely hasn't. <laughs> Earth has gone up maybe five points. More the better, I guess. I guess a big group of enemies that gives lots of XP here. These guys are okay, I think. Confusion. Ow. Twenty-three damage. Go, Hako. Alright, 
right, so mouth is still not 50. Okay. Best bet is probably to try to get. Well, no. I was going to say try to get everybody's health over 1500, but that would require like almost four levels each, so let's not do that. But let's try to get it, at least the main characters up to 55. And at that point, the sub characters are going to be like mid 50s, or about the same. Or mid. Uh, <laughs> By mid, I mean like between 51 or 15 and 55. Mine. So just use your weapon. It's like we need Midia's uh, spirits to go up, so. Can't use spirits, so. Anything else we have? I mean, we have bolt group, but not bolt at all. I didn't check see if Hawk had what kind of healing item Hawk has. Assuming it's at least a mega potion. It'd be nice if it was a giga potion, but can't see them giving uh, an NPC of a giga potion. Or like a non main character, I should say. Mercenary. A little too powerful if that was the case. But still, the two people with uh, mega potions that can keep the main two characters alive, so. Save the giga potions for the, uh, the really tough fights. Got a mega bottle. Or he. Keep calling her a she. It's a power rope do. Well, you can use it on somebody. Increase power. Increase strength, probably. It does indeed. I'd really like to know if that increases damage from our um, spirits. So I find it very unlikely, but if it did, then it'd be really nice. I don't even, I don't even know how effective the uh, wall spell and that stuff is, if it even works against the bosses, but <laughs> I'm not going to stop you from trying. So I can cast like, every buff possible and... It'd be nice if there's like a save point right next to the boss, <laughs> so you can just reload and try. Uh, Even better if I can give the uh, the Giga Bottle to one of my NPCs, or one of my um, mercenaries. Because Chesney's going to be spending his time casting spirits, so if he has to waste a turn using a Giga Bottle, and that just... that just sucks. <laughs> Two enemies not worth fighting. I wonder if there's a spot that's better for XP. I mean, so the Gubos are really easy. I mean, we can kill... if we can kill a group of four, We'll get probably close to a thousand XP. Problem is just getting gubos. But there's also the. Uh, if I remember correctly, there's 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 all the crabs and everything too in the same area. I think they gave a really good experience. You know what? Let's go there. I think we got about two thousand XP from killing a huge group of crabs and uh, and octopi. Be a better place to grind. So let's go back to the. Um... Go back to the area where uh, the gubos hang out. I think that's actually those gold gubos, since all they do is drop money, which I don't need. 
and they hit pretty hard, but we got bottles, we got lots of bottles. And there's a spot where we can refill our bottles not too far from there, so let's do it. All this time spending uh, grinding, I could probably just do multiple attempts at the boss until the RNG goes in my favor, but <laughs> I just don't know how close I was even getting to killing him. And we were in that battle pretty long the first time. The first boss wasn't too bad, I mean, except for Nails. I mean, Nails was, was useless in that battle. So maybe just getting rid of Nails and bringing people I have might, might be enough to, to think just barely survive the boss. But. Not taking a chance, might as well just spend that little extra time and get a couple extra levels just just in case. Gubo, Gubo. Super Gubos. <laughs> These those fights go pretty fast. <laughs> They don't give a huge amount of experience compared to the uh, stuff we're fighting, but let's go ultra fast. Very. You can try crush. They hit a lot, a lot less, or a lot weaker than uh, monsters we're fighting. Those robots we're fighting. So as long as it gives decent XP. Hey, Sev. Welcome to our grinding before the final boss. Kicked our ass last time, so now we're changed my party makeup a bit and. Running a few levels before we tempt him again. Damn it. I'm supposed to miss. It's, it's different. I mean, it's not it's not like top tier or anything like that, but it's, it's okay. I mean, it's, it's average. <laughs> Biggest problem with it is it's competing against Juggernaut, Secret of Mana, which we have next. Yay! Not that I'll have time to start it today, but <laughs> it's like I work tonight, so I can't uh, stay on a huge amount of time. So I figure, you know. I probably have more than enough time to at least beat this game. <laughs> Hopefully. I 
where the um, crabs and everything was. I think those were probably hanging out on the main island here. Yeah, these things. These probably give pretty good uh, experience. They don't murder us first. Blow up spell is absolutely garbage. experience. Yeah, 1600, so pretty good XP from these guys. And relatively easy, too. So everybody's above level 50 now. Whoops. No Goobos can spawn here, too, so... We're seeing some. These guys definitely give way better experience. As long as they don't uh, confuse us or paralyze us or anything like that, <laughs> then they're easy. Go for Chesney, and he always, like every time Chesney gets hit by the debuff, he always, he always gets confused or paralyzed or whatever. Any other character, it's rare that it happens, or if it does, they snap out of it within like one turn. Chesney gets hit, he's permanently paralyzed. Whatever. Yeah, I really wish I had like Bolt all that. Bolt group, but no, not both all. Let's see the hectopuses. They're probably all dead right now anyways. A douche. <laughs> nice. Level 53. 24 HP. So Gubos are the uh, metal slimes of this game. They're easy to kill if you use fire, otherwise you only do one damage to them. 
They only have uh, 12 hit points. And of course they run away really quick and they give really good experience for the difficulty. As long as I can get fire group off, then they all die. I mean, compared to the other stuff we're finding, still less experience, but for the difficulty, that was an XP is pretty good. Oops. Yeah, we're stepping behind the hover ball thing. Alright, can he get a spell off before he gets confused or paralyzed this time? The answer is probably not. I bet you I will kill everything except for things that uh, are immune to berry. Sure enough. HP. I think at this point, HP is really the only thing that concerns me. Since that final boss does so much damage, I mean, just having that little extra HP means we can survive another round. Good goobos, I don't need any money. Let's just run away from these guys. They can give you things that like drop gold, like pretty much at the end of the game, where gold is absolutely useless. <laughs> Just considering you can only equip two characters, and you you typically get all the equipment you need from drops. Like all, all the best equipment is stuff that you're gonna find uh, in, in, in chests and that. So. Money is just garbage after a while. It's like that with any game, really, any JRPG, but usually they give you the, the stuff that gives you good money, like halfway through the game or something, in a corner somewhere. Unless those guys just. Those guys might have been. They probably do spawn in like another area, I just never ran into them. It's like the Goobos. I know the Goobos ran, uh, spawned in a certain area. Stop chasing me! Stop chasing me! Damn pigs. Oh, they're all gonna win away, you watch. <laughs> we're running away from each other.
spray the insectify. This berry is doing a little more damage now, so this is Earth Spirits is getting better. Yet. These things usually die in one round, at least most of them. her leveling up. At least the, uh, it's really fast to scroll through text in this game. Or battle text, just hold down the button and just instantly... Uh, these gold or regular gubos. <laughs> it's the only time where the, sh the uh, silhouettes don't help. Gold. <laughs> it would have died otherwise. Run away! You have like no experience, so care less. It's like 30 experience for killing one of them. Evil rats don't take much bolt damage. No, we're gonna get maximum each XP now. So that means one of them, one of the uh, bottom is gonna survive. Okay. So obviously the water one is the one to use here. What's that do again? Oh yeah, break is water. <laughs> Keep forgetting. Because, you know, break and water, eh, that sounds the same. <laughs> I can imagine. That was the vacay, by the way. Too short, I'm, I'm sure. <laughs> this would be a good time to use that uh, lightning storm. The flying creatures. But the only thing that's weak to it. One damage. Uh, lightning storm. 
Storm, L Storm, there it is. Not enough damage. Sun X, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure that'd be an interesting vacation. <laughs> As long as there's not a lot of arguing going on, then <laughs> probably not so bad, but... Two more fights and it should be 54. This boss is going down. Or we're going down. One of the two. Probably us. <laughs> I'm getting some experience with earth and water here by casting berry. Uh, Storm actually hits the bottom too. It just depends on how strong it is. So most of the time when I cast Lightning Storm, I'm only hitting the top, top uh, characters. I guess since Mouth had kind of more experience with the uh, with spirits, he hit everything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Should that have been uh, an interesting one? And of course, you asked for two, right? <laughs> so, who slept on the floor? <laughs> what kind of question is that, right? Break. I want to cast Lightning. Lightning is strong against that bird. Break, not so much. See that do something. Just like that uh, other thing that mouth has there that keeps casting some sort of black hole thing that doesn't do anything. Love, love to see it actually do something.
Kaboom! Kill the Gubo! Damn it! No running away, Gubos. That's cheating. Getting there. How much is he for the next level? She's 3800 away. 12,000 XP. Now we can try out that boss. I think Sora's probably pretty good against these guys. Yeah, I really want to kill Chesney, don't we? That's fine, he's already attacked. <laughs> once. Yep, Lightning Storm is good against this stuff. goes uh, on after the uh, fight. It's the only time that antidote bottle is useful. <laughs> I don't think I've ever been poisoned when I think about it. It's supposed to be like poison, but have I ever been poisoned by anything? I don't remember that happening. I might have gotten poisoned once and just like got rid of it and that was that, but <laughs> probably doesn't last until after or doesn't last past the fight anyways, so I wouldn't have cared too much. The only thing I've noticed ever lasting past the end of the fight was paralyzation. Although I would imagine if uh is there is there a like a stone effect right there? I don't know if there's any sort of stone effect. in there. Ooh, an air CD. About 35, what? Like, 35 and 40... Level 35 and 40? No way. <laughs> we, we tried the boss at like level 50 and he was... I, I think we were, we were close, but... Definitely, if you can make it to the boss, if you can make it to the boss level 35, 40, that'd be impressive. Maybe in speedrunning, I mean, they probably have some, like, uh... They probably have some... strats or something that, uh... You're 55, yeah. That's what I'm thinking, too. I mean, I figured, like, an extra couple levels is gonna help. Just the HP. So that's what I'm trying for. I'm going, I'm, I'm trying for 55, so... Because I, I think we were getting close, and I got rid of Nail, because Nail was absolutely useless. I've got two main, uh, like, two kind of caster guys, which are going to help, like, casting buffs and that, and of course heal up, so... so we're going to see if that, uh, if we can survive after we hit 55. I, got, I think we were getting pretty close, I just, I don't know exactly how close we were getting, but we were definitely... Like, we lasted a while, uh, I just don't know how much health he has.
Oh yeah, I mean there's there's always RNG, right? So, <laughs> so RNG was probably, I mean I I think I did kind of okay considering, but as soon as Chesney dies, I mean that's that's pretty much it at that point. But one one of the big things I, I should have casted, like looking at the spell list there, that probably would have made a big difference is the attack back spell. The spell gives half of the damage of your damage to the enemy. In other words, half of the damage enemy's damage goes back to them. If that works on that boss, then that's a significant chunk of damage going back to the boss, so so that alone would probably make a pretty big difference if I cast that on. Uh, well, I know my main hero has it. I think Midia has that too. I think she's got that spell. Oops. Attack back. Yeah, so she's so both these two. I mean, if half the damage go back to the enemy, that, that's going to be a significant chunk of uh, extra damage going in. So you know, when I'm going to start the fight, I'm going to I'm going to cast all my buffs on on myself. Just I don't know how much this even help if it even helps at all. But I'll cast wall. I'll cast like defense up on everybody. I'll cast uh, magic wall. Whatever the hell that is. I got magic down. I mean, I'm going to try everything just to see if you know makes enough of a difference. So, you know, I'll try. I mean, it's worth a shot. Yeah, I don't, I don't even know. This, this, unless I'm counting, it's, uh, it's hard to keep track, so... I mean, 6,000, I mean, my spirit spell was doing about... I don't know, like... 500 to him, so... <laughs> we would have been pretty far away. I mean, we'd have to cast that uh, a good 12 times. But if the attack back works, I mean that, that that probably doubles the amount of damage we're doing to him each turn. So that we can only we only have to survive about you know seven or eight turns maybe. So depending on uh, RNG and like who if if the boss keeps attacking one person around, well that person's probably gonna die. As soon as somebody dies, that's it. I mean, especially if it's Chesney. If Chesney dies, that's it. He, there's no more spirits coming in. But uh, Chesney survives, and even if anybody else dies, we're probably kind of okay. But if both Chesney and Medea survive, and like they're the only two that have the, the AOE heals, then we might be able to survive, even if the other two die. So we'll give it a shot. Uh, how do I not have the final spell? I have Spirit. Because is there another spell past the spirit? Like, I've, I've reached the final boss. I, I got through him pretty fast. Pretty good. I just need that little extra experience. Like, the, the spot I'm grinding in right now, this this spot I'm, I'm well I'm well past now. I just find this is a good place for experience. The enemies are pretty easy and they give pretty good XP, so... Pretty sure Spear is the last spell. <laughs> That's why I'm casting Berry a lot here. I'm trying to get my Earth uh, Spirit uh, up so I can do more damage with the Spirit. So this is so I'm, I'm grinding for, for for XP and I'm grinding for Spirit. Uh, so just the combination of everything will probably bring us over the top. So that's what I'm hoping. Yep, exactly. I, I kind of wish Medea had the fire spirit. Oh man, confused. <sighs> Medea had the fire spirit. She can cast spirit too. <laughs> Be super OP. But yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Chesney. I don't know where you just tried casting, but. No, exactly, but I mean, it's the only spell that's going to do damage to the boss, right? So, don't have much of a choice. <laughs> that's why, you know, we want to, I want to try to get his health as high as possible. And, you know, I'm hoping buffs actually do something. If buffs do something, then, I, I don't know, it's, I'd have to fight the boss multiple times to see if it even has an effect, but a lot of it's kind of the, the placebo effect as well. So, if, you know, if you feel like it's going to make a difference, it usually does. Getting close here.
Like it's it's hard to tell. Like the the manual is very vague about what the uh, different buffs do. Like there's wall, there's magic wall, there's magic down. Uh, speed up obviously increases my speed, so that should be one of the first things I cast, just to make sure I can cast a heal before the boss attacks. Um, like, like this one here is probably the best one, the attack back. If that actually works against the boss, I mean, we're going to do half the damage back to him. So that's going to be massive. Uh, like this defense up, this is a single target one, but I don't know if it stacks with wall, and if it does, oops. You know, how much does it actually do? No, oh, it's magic wall. You know, reduce magic damage behind by how much? You know, if it's 10%, it's 10%, you know what I mean? Like, it make a difference, so... So, I'll cast everything and go from there, I guess. It's worth a shot. We'll go all out and... Those rats are so cute. And they're all dead. Medea's up, but Medea can probably level up on the way to the boss. Remember there was the um, Joanne right before the you go into the, the final boss area. Uh, she fills up our bottles and heals us up, so, so we can do a little bit of grinding on the way up uh, to the boss. If there's any easy groups of monsters. Don't want to leave this area until we get 55 on Chesney. Time to have him paralyzed and or confused. Now, I think I really wish though is I could. If I could uh, transfer that Giga Bottle from Chesney to like one of the other two with Mouth or Hawk, that, that would make a huge difference. Because if Media gets low on Giga Bottle usage, then I have to switch to Chesney, and then it's wasting a turn. Every time he uses that, he can't uh, he can't cast Spirit, so. Unfortunately, all the uh, all the mercenaries are very snobbish about what they they'll equip. <laughs> it's like, no, you can't give me this, but it's better. I don't care. You can keep it afterwards. I don't care. <laughs>
every time. <laughs> up should we damn close afterwards mm. let's get a curiosity if we can do good damage with lightning storm now just gonna everybody cast it If you're at the mouth, you can hit everybody with it. You could probably only hit the top row, if anything. Oh, same thing as Chesney. Does a lot less damage, though. The mouth, on the other hand, it's everything. It's interesting how the same spell gets stronger. I mean, not just stronger as in damage, but stronger as in what it'll hit. Charm and just casts freeze. We'll try that on the final boss. Yeah, no, let's not do that. But I guarantee your attack doesn't do anything. Try to use it on the final boss. fight away from leveling up. Pretty much any fight will level us up now. Unless we have a goobo that run away. <laughs> as long as not two of them run away before we kill them, we we'll level up. Good. Killed them all. Level up as well, very nice. Alright, so we're now 55 with Chesney. The, uh, I mean, we're probably gonna. Well, you know what, let's just, let's just level her up. Like, let's not take a chance here. Or we can just save and just make a beeline for the boss and just avoid every fight. And these guys are a lot easier to fight than anything in the. Uh, anything en route to the uh, boss, so. I love how we try to run away and we fail and then the enemy runs away. It's like, really? So we're both running in the same direction. <laughs>
Come on. No confusion or paralyze this time, please. Peace, key, thanks. Chesney goes like dead last, it's nice and fair. Now it's leveled up. I'll be back in uh, just a quick second, I'm just gonna grab uh, something downstairs and I'll be right back. I'm back, sorry about that. Superinius Classic, yeah. I guess it's not really a surprise they would have launched that, uh, considering the uh, popularity of the NES Classic. Of course, they, they kind of buried that pretty quick. <laughs> it's like, oh no, people hacked it and made it so you can play uh, you know, all the NES games on it, which you know Nintendo should have done from the beginning. You know, have if, if they would have had like um, either the ability to play carts or like, to be connected to their virtual console service somehow, then, you know, <laughs> they wouldn't have screwed themselves over to that console, but... There's a Super NES Classic, uh... Does it play carts? <laughs> or is it just, like, the NES Classic where it just looks like it does? Yeah, no, definitely wouldn't play carts of that size. <laughs> Twin-win Classic, yeah. 21 games! First time I ever played the never released Star Fox 2, that's cool. Well, never released, but you know, available. I have the Secret of Mana on it. <laughs> Final Fantasy 3. Some good games on there. Yeah, no, that's, that's always the problem, I'm sure, but. I mean, don't they already own licenses on the Virtual Console? I mean, just make it so you can buy the same thing. I mean, what's the difference if, uh, if it's like on a Wii or a Wii U versus like uh, another device, right? Shouldn't it be the same license, you would think? 
sure there's some sort of weird rules for that, but... <clears throat> Yeah, probably. Weird copyright laws, I guess, but still. Give it the ability to play carts, and <laughs> it would sell a hell of a lot more units to uh, to retro fans. I mean, that's what they should have done with the NES Classic too. Just have it play carts. That's what everybody wants. <laughs> have have like an HDMI, you know. SNES, an official HDMI SNES plays carts. I mean, damn, that would just that would like sell a billion units right there. For any retro fan, you have to mod your uh, SNES to do the same thing. We can play like games on real hardware and everything. Still, so, I may pick one up. I didn't pick up the NES Classic, but SNES Classic, yeah, it's got some good games. So. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I see. Well, the Nintendo classics. Uh, now you, you see the people that are like stuck with them. <laughs> They're trying to sell them at, uh, you know, only like 150 percent markup. I, could, I, I remember seeing like uh, when, especially when they first discontinued them, who were selling them for like uh, this is Canadian pricing, mind you, selling for about 400 bucks, and I was like, who the hell would like? It's pretty much just a glorified. You can get like a something like a retro pie that does all the same stuff and have a lot more for a hell of a lot cheaper. So why would you, you know, <laughs> why would you spend 400 bucks for just a, a Nintendo version of the retro pie? So kind of doesn't make sense to me, but. Good for nostalgia's sake, and that's about it. But I mean, just adding adding the the, the ability of playing the actual carts would would go from make it from uh, being like a gimmick thing that you know people can easily just play on a computer uh, to something that people would actually be interested in, like actual like retro gamers be interested in. Kind of hope they would learn their lesson with the NES Classic and did that with the SNES Classic, but guess not. Alright, let's go.
Let's see how bad we die this time. <laughs> Zoom! My bottles were refilled. <laughs> Let's do this. Or die trying. We're gonna be dying, aren't we? Hey Nails, sorry we're not bringing you with us, but you suck. Almost there. One or two floors left. One more floor. What's side? Dr. Joanne. <clears throat> At least the uh, final boss is pretty close to, you know, to the safe. Well, I mean, it's not close to the safe point, but this is close to somebody who'll heal us up. Not that we don't have like an unlimited uh, healing bottles in our bags, at least. Damn. Final group of enemies before we go outside is the hardest one. Fast elephants. Hey, Joanne. All right. 
Here we go. Everybody's fully healed. I really wish there was a save point here, though. It's <laughs> one thing that's missing. <laughs> Unless... No. <laughs> but maybe if we talk to her again, she'd save or something, but... Unfortunately not. Unless there's a robot hiding around here, but... Um... This one... Straight up, I think. <clears throat> Ow. Damn. <clears throat> that was a lot easier. <laughs> there we go. Alright, so uh, heal everybody up. And let's not die. Okay, so buff like crazy. I want the attack back, especially that's that's the one I want to see if it uh, does anything. Blah blah blah. Okay, first form like the first guy is pretty easy. It's, it's when he merges together with the dragon that's been becomes super insanely hard. Uh, I'm sure our buffs don't. Carry over. Magic wall. Regular wall. I don't know if those stack, but give it a shot. I've got the speed up. Start kicking his ass. <coughs> Cast speed up. Um, defense up. So I have no idea if this defense up stacks with the wall or or what, but we'll try it. Out. Oh, okay, so he does take half the damage back. It's awesome. It's insane. <laughs> Chesney is uh, kind of hurting there. It sucks if he dies before the second boss even shows up. Can't cast spirit, so I might as well uh, giggle bottle up. Oh, 
don't know if this works at all for spirits, but I'm gonna try it out. This is more of a try running for the real boss, but... <laughs> Half of that back. Second form. Why is he only hitting Chesney? That's so unfair. <laughs> like, hit somebody else. Not just Chesney. And at least he doesn't do like a huge amount of damage, but just imagine if he's doing that on the second, uh, the second boss is doing that, and then he hits three times, we're just gonna be getting our asses kicked. Told one of them to do that on Chesney. That was weird. It'd be dangerous if Chesney goes into the last battle with less health than normal. <coughs> Alright. Now the fun part. <coughs> so we still have most of our Giga Bottles, we only used one with Chesney. I really wish our buffs would just, would stick uh, around between fights, but no, to rebuff everything. All right. Um... <clears throat> I think the speed up probably the most important thing here, actually. Defense buffs off and hits everybody good. <laughs> this thing with those annoying walls, like great. Of course, they hit Medea, the one who didn't get the attack back buff on. Wow, well, he took a bunch of damage there, so that's good. Okay. Um, cast his spirit and find it. <laughs> Sp 
spirit pleasers. You use a Giga Bottle. You use Magic Wall. You defend up on Chesney. Take that! The upside is with the with the reflection damage, even if Chesney dies, if, if Medea stays alive, we might be okay. Damn it, you didn't get hit with that. <laughs> Back so we can actually get a extra boost of damage there. You guys can cast defense up in Medea and each other. It's nice that she got off that spell before she got a heal. Hit the two people that have the attack back on. Boom! 384 damage back. That's awesome. That's gonna make a huge difference right there. So good. Spirit. You can start using Giga Bottles like crazy. Um, defense up on Hawk. You can cast anything that's worth casting. Strength up, so I really doubt this works on Chesney, but you know what? We're gonna try it. <laughs> I think we've got this now. We've got all our buffs up. Uh, unless we get like, he gets like some really crazy crits on Chesney, like, Chesney could probably take three hits including, you know, the damage he takes from using Spirit, so as long as I don't, you know, he, the, the boss doesn't get a attack in before we can heal up again, which, with the speed increase, probably won't happen, we're probably going to be good unless we run out of healing items. Seven giga bottles on Medea. These guys can just defend now. Since nothing else they'll do is going to be useful. It's funny if the boss kills himself, they uh, <laughs> reflect. He's got 6,000, we're doing 900 pop now with uh, Spirit, so... <laughs> so he's got to be pretty damn close here. Figure another, like, two turns at the most. That's why he's going to go down.
kill yourself. Kill yourself. <laughs> Ding. Chesney Medea got hit there. Nice. Haha. -ha. Killed himself to reflect. Now is that is that it? Is there another final, final, final form? Much easier when you're a little more prepared. <laughs> Poor Zagos. Delgren has ruined his life. Oh no, Delgren is collapsing. I've got to get in the boat of time travel. <laughs> Not the boat of time travel. We parked that all the way outside. We've got to run all the way back now. Not controlling any of this, by the way, so... <laughs> I know. Yeah, it's probably game over, because I'm not controlling the characters, so... Let's pause the timer here. How did that ship get there? Like, how come we couldn't land the ship there? We had to take the long way through there. <laughs> it's not fair. Yeah, the bus is a lot easier when you uh, kind of prepare for it. <laughs> Once I knew that Nails was absolute garbage there, for that boss fight. Like, I don't know how much his, the buffs helped. Chesney, Medea, preparations for celebration are complete. Please come in. And once, I, once I knew that, like, I don't know if the buffs helped at all like, in terms of damage, but that attack back, attack back alone did huge amounts uh, of help. Like, we did basically double damage with the attack back, because every time he hit us, we were hitting him back. I guess it's not quite over yet, since we're still moving our characters, so let's unpause the timer. Oh, I've heard about what you did from these assembled here. Please enjoy yourselves fully today. Sure was fun making money together, huh? I'm a money lender now. If you ever have money problems, let me come and see me. Ugh, can't speak. Wow, I too can find peace and rest. Thank you, thank you. So these are all the people that uh, we picked up? What were the ones we didn't pick up? <laughs> are they here? You are now a great spiritualist. My blessings on you from the bottom of my heart. It's been a while. I feel honored that I was able to be with you. Chesney, well done. Thanks to you, the people of my village have their vitality back. Medea, my daughter, my pretty daughter. Do you not intend to come back to the village? Yes. <laughs> That's a negative, right? Oh, you will not come back? No, no. Don't look so sad. You want to stay with Chesney that much, do you? I see, I see. Well, you're a gentle child. I'm sorry I was being selfish. You go with Chesney. She's 13. Remember me? It's me, Dan, the unarmed combat expert. On my way to the unarmed combat convention. Is unarmed combat convention? Please come and see it. He's an MMA fighter now. Peace really is best, huh? Call me anytime you have a festival like this. Really get thrilled with the performances. Damn it! You're taunting me with a treasure chest I can't open. I've already picked up the stuff that was in there, but. I really enjoy traveling with you. Come see our traveling minstrel show again sometime. Well, hello. How about a save? Hehehe. <laughs> Just kidding. Thanks for using us here and there. Thanks to all got our wish. Thank you for defeating Zagos. Huh? No way. I can't believe it. Say, is it true? I mean, really? You two are really heroes? I can't believe it. Wasn't she... she... Is she a good guy or a bad guy? I can't remember. He's one of the guys that, uh... Like we booted him out of the party before it happened there, after we reloaded, but there was one of the guys that like, stole money before we... I mean, when we get to a certain town. You really are something, Chesney. The way you've grown up has surprised both Tiger and me. Hey, it's me, Zaran, of the town of Mitsuto. Caused you trouble, didn't I? Heard that Joyce has perished. I know that you two aren't to blame. She was in the Resistance. I heard about it when she perished. She said that loving people is the most important thing. That's why I came all the way to Nesquat. Say thanks to you and Joyce for teaching me that. Next time you're in Sasquatch and pass through Mitsuto, stop by the bakery. I'm right in Joyce's place. Well, it's been a while. I'm Korf, the miner. I'm independent now, too, because of that manor. One time no see. He helped us out on Denebra Mountain. 
Thank you on behalf of my people. Elder sends his regards too. Because of you, we've also recaptured nearly all the perp birds who escaped us. Thank you very much. You're welcome. To your power, the world has been saved. Take my head off to you, sir. <laughs> well, you got much to th for, for some guy called Mouth, he doesn't speak too much. Oh, good. I get to see you again. I wanted to see you. I love Hagudo for the first time in my life. I'll never forget your kindness for going through the trouble of getting them to play God Om Lullaby for me in that town. Most important question is, where's Nails? Oh, well, well. You two have really become strong. I hear you saved the world. You have done great things for one so young. Oh, me? Haha, <laughs> well, truth is, I just got married. Aw, oh, look at me blush. Or oh, she barged in on the island, and half-heartedly brought me an invitation, you see. But when you have time, come and see us at Rest to Our Island. I'll make you all kinds of good things. Wait, somebody just like showed up and like, hey, let's get married. He's like, yeah, let's do that. Sounds legit. I don't see nails, where's nails? We didn't kill him, we just boot him out of the party. He should still be alone, around. Meet again, I'm glad. I'm going to the Unarmed Combat Convention going on now. Come and see it. This is one of the Resistance, thanks you. Thanks to you, we were able to defeat Zagos. We'll be busy now with the reconstruction of Sasquatch. I'd like you to help us with that, if you would. I have a message for you. At Neugren, we stopped Zagos. This is from Fiery. Listen, it's Fiery. We're in a bed in the hospital. I'm really sorry I can't join the celebration. I was helped out of jail on the day that Sasquatch was freed. I'll never forget fighting with you. I would like to congratulate two of your youngest heroes in Lennis from Nasquatch. Well, so long. She seemed, she really seemed to be f to feel bad about not being able to come join us today. That female warrior was throwing a temper tantrum in bed. Anyway, this is just between us, but why does Nasquat cooking taste so bad? Damn it, there's no nail. Well done, Chesney. I guess they, they don't have nail because, you know, you could potentially kill him <laughs> before reaching this point, so they won't... But they, they could just have it, like... It's like, hey, you know, somebody put me back together type thing. <laughs> well done, Chesney. Thanks to you, peace has returned to the land once more. You are my pride. I will rebuild the school. Make you into a master spiritualist. <laughs> Make me to a master spiritualist? I have, like, all the spirits in the world. I, I cast the most powerful spirit spell ever. I think I'm the master spiritualist here. It's the greatest thanks I can give to you for restoring peace to the land. Chesney, Medea, have you said... Your goodbyes to everyone? No. Alright, this may be your final farewell to your friends. Best not leave anything unsaid. You did it, young heroes. I was convinced you would succeed. I came here to tell you something important. You activated the ancient machine Del Gren, and though you gave it birth to the monster came at... Through it, you gave birth to the monster came at... They say that Gavnid, who built Del Gren, was of a different species from the rest of us. The same is true of the heroes Kormu and Sophie. There are so many questions about this planet, Lennis, that remain unanswered. Let's be continuing to Lennis too, which we'll never see. <laughs> Why, in our long history, have relations been so bad between Sasquatch and Asquat? Who builds the buildings that's said to be underground? Why are we able to use magic? Perhaps, while I still live, you will find the answers to these questions. There are, I think, dark secrets that remain uncovered. <laughs> yeah, they're definitely trying to push, like, a sequel here. <laughs> So many questions unanswered. You must play the second game to get all those answers, but you're never going to see the second game. Remember me on Blades, the warrior genius. His arrival appraised the way you've grown up. Snail's hiding behind here. <laughs> Mother, Chesney, Chesney, are you alright? You're not hurt, are you? So worried about you that I couldn't stand it. Here you saved everyone. I was so proud when I heard that. You're not even a grown man, yet you did something so wonderful. Sniff, sniff. Well, your mother will be fine. Now, did you thank everyone who helped you? Go say thank you to everyone. You can't live all, all on your own. You can say thank you to Nails. <laughs> right, no regrets, huh? You two are children of destiny. Go beyond Lennis's horizon. Go, you who cut down the might of darkness. Are you prepared for the journey? 
Probably GG now. Stop the timer now, it's pretty much... <laughs> Where are we going? Yep, credits. Based upon Linus. <laughs> Linus' staff. Based upon Linus, but uh, let's just totally change the name and just... into a name that has absolutely nothing to do with the game. Alright, so that's game number 95 completed. Hooray! Yeah, like I'm not sure what helped the most. The grinding, or the, having the two characters, or just the buffs, but clearly the, the the thing that did the most work there was the attack back. So the attack back on the two characters, like basically doubled our damage output, and uh, you know, having so the buffs might have done something. I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Unfortunately, I couldn't com couldn't easily compare it before and after. So I don't know if the the wall and that stuff even reduces your damage input, but. It doesn't, I mean, we're still... You know, there's a couple times we came close to dying with Chesney, but not against the final boss, more of the first boss, actually. Because I didn't want to use any of my healing items on the first boss, but we still had, like, half of our healing items for... more than half of our healing items when we killed the final boss, so... So we probably could have done it without uh, grinding the extra levels, but uh, definitely some RNG involved. All the cutscenes from the Rip. Uh, what was her name again? <laughs> she died at the stake. <laughs> Yay for the parade! Music is pretty good in this game. So overall, this game, I mean, it wasn't bad. It's, I don't know, it was probably a 4 out, of, 4 out of 5. I mean, there's nothing bad about it. There's nothing spectacular about it. It was it was, it was, kind of average, but it was okay. So I think this game's a solid 4 out of 5 anyways, in terms of uh, the game. I mean, the only thing I, I was annoyed the most of, especially like halfway through the game, until we started getting like a lot of... Uh, you know, heliums and giga bottles and that was just having to constantly go in and out of the menu to heal up the guys after each battle. And this, the difficulty spikes were kind of all over the place. Like some areas, the difficulty like spiked quite a bit, and then the next area, like the monsters are a lot easier. Like you know, you have a whole bunch of monsters that do massive AOE damage uh, to like everybody. So every time you're doing a fight, I mean, yeah, you pretty much have to to heal up afterwards. And then you go to the next area where, you know, things are doing single target damage and they're doing less damage to the single target than the uh, the AOE guys are doing to everybody. So so the difficulty spikes are all over the place. But other than that, it's pretty good, uh, pretty solid game, anyways. So yeah. So, 95 done. Let's see if there's anything special after these uh, credits. So, uh, uh, this is going to be a short stream. I'll be ending it here after you know all this these credits go through. I don't have like I do have work tonight. So, I mean, I'd have time to start Secret of Mana, but I prefer to to dedicate like a full stream to that. Since you know it is Secret of Mana. <laughs> so, it's a game I played back on the SNES way back when. I vaguely remember some stuff about it, but not much. It's been too long that I remember like nothing about the uh, the plot, or you know, I remember like the mechanics. But you know, we're talking about 15 plus years ago here, <laughs> 15, 20 years ago. It's like yeah, good luck trying to remember any of that. And we're back at the... There go. Buttons do anything? They do not. Alright, so yeah, so that's the uh, Paladin's Quest completed. So yeah, so I will be ending the stream here. Uh, so it is a short stream today because of uh, the work. And um, trying to think if I'd have time to... like I, 
you know, when I start Secret Man, I want to dedicate like a pretty big stream, so I don't want to just do a short stream. So I probably won't be streaming for the next couple days. Um, double check here my work schedule. Yeah, I am working overnight. Well, nights anyways. Uh, let's see, where are we today? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So, yeah, I might have some time streaming uh, during the week. If not, uh, it might not be until, you know, Friday or Saturday. But uh, I'll try to do a couple streams in the meantime. I'll try to get at least a minimum like, five-hour stream in when we start Secret Mana. So, in the meantime, uh, thanks everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed the end of Paladin's Quest. And I hope I'll see you uh, next time for the start of Secret Mana. And I'm looking forward to it, so hopefully you are too. So have a great night, everybody, or have a great afternoon, I should say. And I'll see you all next time.